Hey guys, in today's Music Gear quick video, I'm showing you how I have been running my backing tracks from my iPad using a wireless stereo transmitter and receiver system. I know that this is completely unnecessary and most of the time you should just use a cable for this. However, I have an obsession with having a clean stage. I have a wireless mic, wireless guitar, wireless in-ears. I even have a wireless pedal board. So I really wanted to find a way to run the backing tracks wirelessly. So most of the time for your backing tracks, you have a cable like this. This one plugs into the iPad, the 3.5 millimeter. And then these two are your split. So this side contains your click and your cues. And then this side contains your backing tracks. If you don't know how to do that, I do have a video walking through that and you can click up above or down below to check that out. So I wanted to see if I could do this wirelessly. I run tracks for two of the bands that I play with. We use Stage Tracks 3, which is an incredible app. One of the best apps I've ever used for running tracks live. You can definitely check it out. I have a three-part video series on it. I love that app. But I really wanted to see if I could do it wirelessly. I tried doing it with my expensive, you know, $1,000 wireless systems. I tried using a TRS cable and it would not transmit wirelessly. It would either sum them together, the left and right, or would only transmit the left or the right. But then I found about this guy. So I actually did a video on this. This is actually an in-ear monitor system. It's actually meant to be used with in-ear monitors, but it does have a 3.5 millimeter TRS tip and it comes with the ability to switch it to quarter inch if you need it to, but it's actually a stereo transmitter. So normally what you're supposed to do is this is supposed to be the transmitter and this plugs into your mixer. And then this is the receiver and that lives on you. This clips on your belt and you plug in your earbuds up here. But I was like, well, this is stereo. So if I reverse that, and then this is the transmitter that comes out of the iPad. And then because this already has the headphone out here, instead of plugging this into my iPad, it would just plug in here and I can route my backing tracks that way. It has worked awesome. I've done it for about eight shows now and it's been working great. I do wanna say right off the bat though, is that the, this system, the new X system, I've been getting about 50, 50 reviews on that in the comment section. Some people have said that it's worked great. Other people have said it has not worked well for them. I actually had to leave an updated pinned comment just explaining like, hey, this is working well for me, but I see a lot of people have not had this work well for them. We even did a gig in Dominican Republic recently, which was, it was a really, side note, it was a really cool show. We got to play like on a stage on a pool. I've never done that before. It was really wild. But our other guitar player, he forgot his in-ear monitor systems. And I always have these in my backpack. And after the show, I asked him, how did these work? And he said, these are great. I want to buy some for myself. So just, just FYI, I'm just letting you know that some of these have been a little bit controversial as far as in-ear monitors. However, almost everyone has said using it with an iPad or a phone or just listening to music, it sounds great. And that's basically what you're doing with this as an iPad. So this plugs in to the top for the iPad and this is the receiver. So you plug that in to your breakout cable and then run these just like you normally would into either a direct box or direct into your mixer. And that's it, now you have a wireless system. There was one time that it shut off by itself and I believe that was because it got just like a little bit unplugged because I was an idiot and I attached it to my drummer's hi-hat stand. So I think it just like vibrated out. I think that was the issue. The thing is, is that I usually always leave the receiver pretty close by just in case, you know, cause this is a cheaper wireless system, but it is in 5.8 gigahertz, which is what's cool about that. A lot of cheap wireless is in 2.4 which is a lot less reliable. This one's on 5.8, which is more reliable. But I always have the receiver at least sitting somewhat close by and with enough slack in the cable that if something does go wrong, I can still just quickly plug in my iPad and we can keep going and the show stops for like 30 seconds. So I don't know if you guys are as obsessed with wireless as I am and having a clean stage, this is definitely an option of worth looking into. Now there is another system, is that this is one by Licato. This is a stereo transmitter as well, and you can see it's 3.5 millimeter. I did a review on this a while back as well, but it is stereo. So again, this could plug into the top of your iPad, but then the issue that I ran into is this is male, and then the breakout cable that I have is male. So that doesn't work obviously, but I found out about these little adapters right here just these little couplers right here. So if I needed to switch out to this, because this is in 2.4, just in case if 5.8 was acting up, I could switch to this one as well, or if the battery died or something like that. So this is another option that I have. So I have both of them ready, just in case if I need to. And the thing that I love the most about this new X system is it has this charging case right here. So it protects it, but it also acts as like an Apple AirPods thing where you push this button and it actually charges it. So there's a built-in battery in the case and then it'll charge the wireless for you. You should check out my full review on this where I go over it completely. Pretty cool. I figured I'd share it with you guys, see if you were interested. I will have purchase links down below to this one as well as 
the cheaper 2.4 gigahertz ones if you guys are interested in checking this out for yourself. I do recommend, because these are cheaper, that you just leave it somewhat closer just in case if something goes wrong. I mean, that's what you should do at shows anyways. You should always have some sort of backup plan. Also, I have been using this portable power bank in order to charge the receiver just to make sure that it doesn't die. And just in case, if that was one of the reasons why it turned off that one time. I will also link to the one that I've been using down below in the description. So I hope that helped you guys out. Purchase links to check these out will be down below in the description. If you guys found this video helpful, do me a favor, just hit the thumbs up button. It does a ton to help out the YouTube algorithm and recommend my channel to more people. So I would appreciate it. Check out my full review on this system by clicking the link on your screen now. I do also have a playlist on cool, cheap music gear if you want to check that out as well. Don't forget to follow me on my social media pages, mostly on Instagram at Scott Yule Music. Thank you guys again for watching. If you have any other cool gear you want me to check out, please leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.